Hello everyone. Welcome back to Webkul Odoo Modules tutorial. Today in this video, we will discuss the configuration and workflow of our module Odoo SaaS Kit. SaaS is a highly scalable model which has zero maintenance cost and less initial investment for the end users. If you are dealing in the B2B domain and want to provide your Odoo as SaaS to your customers, then congratulations, you are at the right place. Webkul as a leading Odoo development company in the world and a trusted Odoo partner, we have Odoo SaaS kit just for you. The module offers amazing features like enhanced privacy and security, subscription and contract based model, better control on instance distribution, ability to add custom modules in the subscription package. Now let's check out the configuration and the workflow of the module. Log into your Odoo instance with admin credentials. Now move to the SaaS kit module. Click on the configuration tab and select modules menu. Here you can create module to add in the SaaS plan. Add the module name and the technical name and select the module category. You can also create a new one. Now again click on the configuration tab and select module category menu. Here, click on the create button. You need to add category name here and then select the parent category. Now let's configure a SaaS server. Here, you can create a new SaaS server or edit the existing one, like I am editing this one. Add the name of server, select host server from the self server or remote server. Choose self if you want to keep the client instance and the Odoo SaaS kit module on the same server. Or Choose remote server if you want that the client you make with Odoo SaaS kit are maintained on different server than on which your Odoo SaaS kit is installed. To connect a remote server, you would need SSH details. You also need to set maximum allowed clients like I have added 10 here. You need to add database server details here. Once done, save the changes and validate it. Now confirm the SaaS server from here. Click on the SaaS tab and select SaaS plan menu. Now click on the create button. Here, add the name of SaaS plan and SaaS service I am adding here. Now add summary that is recurring model which I have added. Set the SaaS server like I have added localhost. Now, enable the checkbox to deploy clients on remote server. Set the DB template name. Make sure it should be unique like I am adding user 06 here. You can also enable user based pr pricing. You can set the pricing as per your requirement. User-based pricing is explained well in the user guide. 
You can find the link of the user guide in the description box below. Moreover, you can also set minimum and maximum number of users for SaaS plan. Select a product to calculate user pricing. Here, add the created modules for the SaaS plan. Now select the modules you want to add and click on the select button. Now select the remote server tab. Set the priority of server and Odoo will automatically pick the server according to space and priority to create a client. One is the highest priority given. Yes, select the server. Now save the changes and click on the create db template. Here you can see that database is created. By default, the client get the admin rights for their Odoo instance when they purchase the plan. However, you can also give specific access rights to your clients of their Odoo instance. Click on the login button. You need to create user and set the access rights as per the requirement. Go to the settings. Click on user and companies. Go to the users to create a new one. Add the user details. and set the access rights as per the requirements. From the URL above, copy the ID that is 6 here. Now move back to the SAS plan and edit it. You need to enable the checkbox user specific user template. Add the database template ID here, which we have just copied. Now, all the new clients made from the plan will have access rights of the user with entered ID. The changes will be applicable for new clients created by this plan. Already existing clients will not be affected. Now, we need to create a SaaS product. For that, you need to go to the Sales module. Click on Product tab to create a product. You need to make sure that the product should come under Service type. Now you need to add the name of product and then say, set the sales price. Select the SaaS Plan tab. Here, you can link this product to a SaaS plan. Now, configure the variants of the product. Set the attribute along with its value and save the changes. Now let's navigate to all the product variants. Hence, we will select the recently created variant. Click on the edit button. And go to the SAS tab. From here, you can set the billing cycle, 
that will repeat on every five or you can set any other date manually. You can also set user cost here. Once done, save the changes. The product variant will now be available on the website for purchase to choose the type of billing cycle they want to purchase. Now let's move to create a SaaS contract. We need to go to the SaaS kit module once again. To create a SaaS contract for a client, go to SaaS plan. Let's check the newly created one or click on the create contract button. Here you can set the contract, set the billing cycle date and contract rate per cycle and per user cost. Here add the number of users, set the purchase cycle, due user price. You can also add the complimentary free days with the SaaS plan. Set the partner. An invoice product which helps to manage the invoice of the contract. You can enable checkbox to automatically create new invoice. Now click on the create button. You can check the create con created contract. Just go to SAS contract from here. You can check all the SAS contracts here. Let's see the one we have recently created. Now we need to edit it. You can check all the details here. Now let's configure SAS server of contract. You can add domain name here or ask the customer directly for it. You can also add the custom domain. Now save it and create SaaS clients now. Click on the button create and confirm clients. Now let's check SaaS clients. Here you can see the created client. You can also check the details of the client from here. Here is the contract we have created. Click on it. From here, we can confirm and share credentials with the client. The client will receive the credentials on mail. This is the mail template he will receive by client. Now let's check out how to purchase SaaS plan for Odoo website. You need to select any SaaS plan from Odoo website. Select the period and you can also modify number of user from here. Update the number of users. Click on Add to Cart button. Process Checkout. And Pay Now. So this is how your customers can buy SaaS plan in Odoo. 
your customers will receive the mail from where he or she can create the domain i hope the flow of the module odoo saskit is clear by now you can reach us at support@webcool.com in case of any doubt or query find all the useful links in the description box below